Hi everyone, it's Angela from Happy Dotting Company. Today I'm going to start a little um, series on sort of gift ideas coming into Christmas time. And today I'm going to talk about making some coasters. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I'm um, talking about as I do it. Okay, so I've got my um, coasters here in front of me and I just wanted to go through um, how um, I've made them here. So, you know, I've been thinking about coasters as an obvious thing that people might want to dot, you know, as soon as they sort of get into the art. And the reason why I haven't done this before is because um, I really haven't until now found a good solution for how to actually finish them and coat them. Um, that's actually also, um, you know, a protection and um, fit for purpose. So, in other words, you know, not talking about any sort of a coat, but talking about a coat that's going to be um, suitable to actually put, you know, hot drinks on and that's going to last well and that sort of thing. So, um, this is one that I made a while ago. And um, I've actually been using this myself now for quite a while and putting super hot drinks on it and leaving them there. And um, I think it still looks really good. So this is why I've gone ahead to um, show you how I did it. Now, as you can see, the coat itself looks really good. Um, you can see some dents around here that, um, you know, my cup has made from actually putting it down all the time. But I think that that's acceptable. And the reason why I say that is that paint is flexible. I mean, that's the reason it doesn't crack is that, you know, between summer and winter, paint does need to be flexible. And if I dig my fingernails into this, you can actually see that it will sort of dent. But the main thing is that, um, you know, the, the, the um, coating itself actually remains intact and it protects the paint. Um, you know, it hasn't chipped, it hasn't faded and, um, you know, hasn't sort of discoloured. So, you know, it still looks really good. So essentially what I've done is I've started with a wooden coaster. And I mean, you can get these from anywhere. This one's actually from a um, hardware shop in Bunnings um, in Australia. And, um, but, you know, you can get these at most craft shops. So it's just a sort of a wooden disc. I use any... Um, black acrylic paint or any acrylic paint. I don't use any other um, sort of coats or anything like that. I just use a black acrylic paint to start, um, let that dry, put my um, <coughs> markings, my symmetry markings on it with a chalk pencil and then I sort of, you know, dot a design. Now, um, I let that, after I've completely finished dotting, I let it completely dry for a good couple of days and this is the magic ingredient that I wanted to show you. So I actually came across this product. I've, and I will tell you, I have spent a lot of money and a lot of time testing different products. And mostly they've been very disappointing. But this one has impressed me. Now, I have to um, say that I actually found this product on a review for some um, acrylic pouring. Um, they were doing acrylic pouring on tiles. And um, so then they let the paint dry and then they used several different products, including this one, to see which ones made the best coasters. So in other words, the cup doesn't stick to them um, and, um, you know, the, the colour was good and the gloss was good, that sort of thing. So uh, this one went really well in their review. And as I said, I've tested it myself and I think it's really great. So it's called Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel Clear Coat Multi-Purpose Coating Protective Gloss Finish. Now it is a gloss, but I wouldn't say it's sort of super, super gloss, but it is definitely a gloss and to me that's fine. Um, I did end up using quite a few coats, so about three coats. Um, this actually came from a auto shop. So not an art shop, not sort of a regular, um, you know, sort of um, multi sort of uh, purpose shop. It came specifically from a car shop, you know, where you buy all sorts of things for vehicles, auto shops. And um, I think it's widely available because obviously that's um, written the colours written the American way. So I assume it's um, available in America or probably Canada and a lot of places. 
You do need to use it in a very well ventilated area. So I used it outside. As I said, I did three coats. It dries quite quickly, but you also need to then let it cure for about a week um, before you actually start to use it. So, you know, obviously let it cure properly and then that you'll get the best sort of lasting finish. And then what I did um, is I just sort of put the felt on the back and this is just a, um, a felt that comes with an, a, a sort of a self-adhesive that you just cut into a circle. And that just is an adhesive like that. And I just sort of tidied up the edges there with some black paint. So, like I said to you, this one I have been using for um, quite a few days, um, well, not days, I should say weeks, and I'm quite impressed with how it's gone. And I made these other two just to see if it's sort of, you know, the, how the gloss was on these. I haven't actually used these. I'm going to give these to my parents to um, test so they can sit their drinks on them. Um, but um, I hope this product works for you as well. And um, I hope I've given you some good tips. And, you know, like I said, the, you know, coasters are a really fun thing to make. Um, and um, they can make some great gifts as well. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, I'll be back with more gift ideas and new products to show you very soon. So please subscribe. Bye.